let's jump right in. I threw on some contacts and glued down my brows. And now we're gonna move into this face palette. I got it a long time ago at Michael's. So I'm taking the red, black, and white shades. First, I'm just mixing the red and white shades together. And I'm taking this Fenty Beauty foundation brush. And I'm just working that all over my face, my neck, my shoulders, and a little bit on my chest. So like I said, I got this at Michael's a very long time ago. I'd say two years. So I don't know the exact name of it. But it's by the brand Snazaroo. I think that's how you pronounce it. So I'll link it down below if I can find it. And this is really good face paint. Like, it was expensive. It was like $80. Can't even lie to you. But it works really well. It doesn't stain at all. This washed right off. I know, shocking. Because usually when you use red, it stains. But this one didn't stain at all. It washed off really easy. And it was very easy to work with. So I would recommend this face palette. I haven't used it since like last year. And it's still good. All I did was take a little spray bottle filled with water, sprayed each shade that I needed, and then it just works right in. So just watch me apply this all over my body. All right, now I'm gonna highlight. So I'm just taking the white shade and mixing it into the red shade that's already on my face. So I'm not really adding any more red onto the brush. I'm just using what's on the brush and on my face. So I'm just taking that white shade and I'm highlighting my forehead, um, my under eyes, as well as my chin and nose, like I would do with regular concealer, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty much winging this look. Like I didn't really have a plan. I had an idea in my head, but this is pretty much me winging it, okay? This is not what I do. I'm not really a Halloween costume kind of girl. So I had to challenge myself to create this look. I don't know, it just popped into my head. I had this blue mermaid wig, so I was like, let me just transform into a possessed mermaid. I had contacts. These contacts look so creepy. Like, oh my gosh. I don't even be wearing contacts like that because they're super uncomfortable. These took me a whole almost an hour to put into my eyes, y'all. I'm scary. Like, I just don't be putting stuff in my eyes like that. It's just so awkward. But we finally got them in. And they look kind of cool, kind of creepy. And they're really going to pull together this entire look. All right, now it's time to contour. I kind of messed up on this part. I added too much water into the black, so it's, you know, I had to work to fix it. But we're just taking the black shade just a little bit because you can go really wrong with black real quick. And I'm just contouring the places in which I would normally contour, my cheekbones, um, my forehead, my nose, my jawline. So we're just taking a little bit of black and trying to blend that in and taking another brush and blend it in. And surprisingly, even when this face paint dries down, it's still very blendable and you can still blend other colors into it. You just have to be careful not to add too much water to the paint or else then it'll start to come up off your face because that's what I experienced. All right, we are done with the face paint for now. Now I'm gonna go into this deck of Scarlet Oracle palette. I'm gonna take these three shades, Voodoo, High Priestess, and Witchcraft. First, we're gonna start off with Voodoo, and we're just gonna work that to where I covered my brow so we can have a more dramatic and longer, wider crease. They're not sponsoring this video, but they are sponsoring my Instagram post that coincides with this look. So, you know, head over to my Instagram, Aaliyah.Michelle. Y'all know the drill. Show your girl some love, honey. I didn't do the best job covering up my brows as you can see some hairs just popping through it's because i was working with water and it kind of lifted the glue up but listen it'll do okay now we're gonna go into the shade high priestess this is such a beautiful silver it was so pigmented deck of scarlet has really good shadows i can't even lie to you their shimmer formula it's on point like i didn't even lay down an eyelid base at all this is just face paint on my eyelids and do you see how this silver is popping through i'm just going to place that on the first half of my elongated lid and now i'm blending witchcraft which is like this beautiful shimmer red color onto the outer half of my lid and then blending it into high priestess so they have a beautiful gradient effect and i know i'm high key starting to look like a demon but i promise the mermaid aspect of this look is coming in real soon but i was like man i high key look like a demon <laughs> But that's not where I was trying to go with this. Okay, I'm a possessed mermaid. <laughs>
And now I'm just taking more of the shade Voodoo, which is like this very deep indigo shade, and I'm just blending it onto the outer of the outer half for the lid, of the elongated dramatized lid, as well as the lower lash line. This look is not supposed to be entirely put together. I wanted it to be a tad messy. I didn't want it to be perfectly precise and glam like I usually do. So it was a little weird for me, you know, not to be perfect, not to have a perfect face, a perfect blend, a perfect demonized beat. <laughs> So just know I'm way better than this. I am more talented. But honestly, I think it came together really well in the end. Like, I don't usually do this, so it was weird for me. But it was also cool to see me look like this. And I'm also just taking a tad bit more of High Priestess. Popping that onto the lower lash line. And now we are highlighting twirling. Okay, so this is the Moonbeam Highlighter in the shade Eternal and Astral. This is part of Deck of Scarlet Celestial Nights kit for this month. So I'm just applying that to the high points of my face to bring light and beam <laughs> to the possession. And now we're going to go ahead and apply this dual-ended lip stain from the same exact kit. It was like the perfect vampy deep lip shade for this look and i know it seems like i'm doing my makeup out of the normal order in which i do it and it's because i am <laughs> it's because when i feel a little overwhelmed by a look that i don't usually do i kind of do it out of order to gain back control of what i'm doing if that makes sense okay i was a little discombobulated now we're gonna move on to the scale part which is the fun part so i'm gonna take this wig cap and this Too Faced glitter glue as well as some bh cosmetics mermaid shaded glitter and i'm going to i just ripped off a piece of the wig cap so i can have more control on what i'm doing so i just stretched the net out with my fingers i apply some Too Faced glitter adhesive and then i just pop on my glitter and this creates such realistic and cool scales to your look so this is what brought in the mermaid aspect and it was so fun doing this i kind of just randomly disperse it across my whole face so just in different areas of my face i just apply some glitter glue and some glitter and so we can have some realistic looking non-perfect scales you know i wanted to look creepy i wanted to look scary i wanted to look spooky so we're kind of <laughs> We're drawing inspo from those three themes, if you will. And now that I'm looking on this footage, I should have just glued this onto my face because it looks kind of cool and it added a cool aspect to the look. Ugh, a missed opportunity. Next time we'll do that because I'm just looking at this net and I'm like, man, if I would have glued that to my face, that would have looked sick. All right, now I'm gonna pop on some lashes. I'm stacking two lashes and then placing one on the lower lash line. Now it's time to adhere this wig, honey. So I'm gonna take this Chic Bond Lace Adhesive. It dries so quick. I really like this lace glue. I've seen it in the beauty supply store, so I'm sure you can go and head to your local one and pick one up. So I'm just laying down a very thin layer, only in the center of my forehead, because look, this wig wasn't gonna be on for long. There was no need for me to tack down the whole doggone thing. So I'm just gonna press it down and then I'm also gonna take some more red face paint and just put that in the part and near the hairline so it's more cohesive to the look cause that beige looking part, it just wasn't it. Okay, so I had to put some red face paint. I cringe when I did this. But you know, it had to be done. And this completes my Possessed Mermaid Halloween makeup transformation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. And until next time, always remember <laughs> to serve, honey. And I will see you in my next upload. Bye.